Revenge, is it? Your vision is as narrow as your father's. You want to talk? How wide a vision was your grab for power? Power? No, 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 no. You're smarter than that. Power? No, 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 no. You're smarter than that. This was never about power. It's always been about control. Did your father teach you nothing? The Order has grown complacent. For centuries, we focus our attention on the trappings of power. <laughs> Crafted to shepherd the masses. I'll kill you! Skulk all you like. It makes no difference. I don't... <laughs> yourself safe in your shadows. So kill me, if that will slake your thirst for revenge. The darkness cannot protect you. I can take him. No, you can't. Not alone. Wait for me. I'm sorry. Elise! Bravo. You've slain the villain. That is how you've cast this little morality play in your mind, isn't it? Oh, I'm not really here. I'm not really there either. At the moment, I'm bleeding out in the floor of the temple. But it seems the Father of Understanding has seen fit to give us this time to talk. Ah. A particular favorite of mine. I did not understand the visions that haunted my mind, you see. 
great towers of gold, cities shining white as silver. I thought I was going mad. Then I found this place. Jack de Molay's vault. Through his writings, I understood. Understood what? Somehow, through the centuries, I was connected to Grand Master de Molay. And that I'd been chosen to purge the order of decadence and corruption that had set in like rot. And to wash the world clean. And restore to the truth the father of understanding intended. That seems to have gone over well. Prophets are seldom appreciated in their own time. Exiled in the basement forced me to reevaluate my strategy. Find new avenues for the realization of my purpose. No matter the cost. A new order never comes of that destruction of the old. And if men are made to fear untrammeled liberty, so much the better. A brief taste of chaos will remind them why they crave obedience. It appears we part ways here. Think on this. The march of progress is slow, but it is inevitable as a glacier. All you've accomplished is to delay the inevitable. One death cannot stop the tide. Perhaps it'll not be my hand that shepherds mankind back to its proper place. But it will be someone's. Think on this when you remember her. The creed of the Assassin Brotherhood teaches us that nothing is forbidden to us. Once, I thought that meant we were free to do as we would, to pursue our ideals no matter the cost. I understand now. Not a grant of permission, the creed is a warning. Ideals too easily give way to dogma. Dogma becomes fanaticism. No higher power sits in judgment of us. No supreme being watches to punish us for our sins. In the end, only we ourselves can guard against our obsessions. Only we can decide whether the road we walk carries too high a toll. We believe ourselves redeemers, avengers, saviors. We make war on those who oppose us, and they in turn make war on us. We dream of leaving our stamp upon the world. Even as we give our lives in a conflict that will be recorded in no history book. All that we do, all that we are, begins and ends 
with ourselves. fight two centuries before it started. Well done, kid. Uh, I don't think Abstergo will bother searching the catacombs for Jermaine's body. The bones are gonna be too damaged, too decayed. We're in the clear with this sage. You did good work, Initiate. Until we contact you again, the best you can do is continue searching Arno's memories for anything else he might have seen, like rare historical data, more DNA samples, anything to help our cause. We'll be in touch when we need you. Count on it. 